Now's the time for a bigger challenge. Before you lies an Imperial Keep, guarded by a certain Lord Rusimov. He had a bit of an accident that melted most of his face, but he's no less vigilant a soldier. He's been sent to guard an object that could threaten our campaign. Get in there, and burn the rest of him, Underlord! We've punctured the veil of this world through a schism, a point of weakness in the bonds between realms. Unfortunately for us, the Empire has crafted defenses to keep us from the heart of their kingdom. These inhibitors prevent underlords from trespass, but whether it's bone or stone, it can be broken. I suspect that this Empire force has yet to taste true battle, but before you go engaging them, you'll need to muster up some minions. Unfortunately for me, your time in the ether has left you a weak husk of your former self. In order to reacquire your powers, you will need to access the veins of evil. Open them now, and use a sin to unlock the archive. Archive unlocked! This room will allow your minions to research additional sins, which can be spent to recover your lost powers. Build one now to begin researching additional sins. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear out this area. Ah, that opens up. You know what, we're gonna need some more gold at some point, and we're gonna need a lair to put people in. And we're gonna need access here. Build an archive, Underlord. Your forgotten powers are far more impressive than those you currently wield. Okay, well here's an archive. I just gotta wait to get this 3x3 area going. the gold piles. Almost there. You'll need to claim the nearby gateway before minions can enter your dungeon. Yep, which is just about to happen. And I'll need a lair of some sort. Your vaults are full of gold. Yes, they are. So one of the things that the next patch is supposed to fix is saying that over and over again. Like, as soon as I build this and gold gets taken back to there, it's gonna say it again. A cultist has entered your dungeon. A cultist has found its way into your dungeon. Attracted by the magical tones within your archive, these minions will spend most of their time researching sins for you. Though they are weak combatants, they have the power to curse your foes, making them weak to your other minions' blows. A hungry minion can always find work elsewhere. Build a slaughter pen before your minions starve. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Perception Shrine Clay. Okay, so Perception Shrine... Grants vision over a large area. And indeed, I see this largish area. I also see this impenetrable rock, which I'm going to be calling bedrock just because. Okay, so, slaughter pen. Build. There we go. Build a larger vault, Underlord. And you know what? It'd be nice to have some additional units. Yeah. 
So, I need to build a barracks. Just as soon as I have enough space. So, you may be able to see here on the pop-up tooltip display, it says that this is supported by 7 plus walls and its prop efficiency is 150%. So, these fortified walls actually provide this archive lectern with some additional uh, stats. So, fortifying your walls around a place can help. This is currently supported by 6 walls. And... Come on. Now seven plus walls. And it caps at 150%. So this is now more efficient. Which is cool. Okay, so... Uh, right now, my objectives in the top right is telling me that I just gotta wait for my cultists to research a new sin. Oh, wow. So this is my lair. I have three people right now. Four. The Gnarling just set up camp. And you can see the their names. This is a bit of Fuzzy Marmot, the Gnarling. This is a bit of Boar, the Cultist. A bit of Nuzio, the Disoriented, the Cultist. A bit of Sir Leading Roll, the Cultist. Mm. Mm, okay. This perception shrine did grant me a vision over an area, but I can't see too much. Your cultists have worked hard to earn a new sin. Use it within the veins of evil to unlock the tavern. Tavern unlocked. This room provides your minions with succulent cooked pig flesh and stout ale. After eating a meal within its hearthed halls, their spirits will be raised, increasing their productivity for a short time. Build one now, and remember that the tavern is unique and must be built at least three by five in order to be effective. So this is true, and what I like to do is put it in place of the slaughter pen. But you still have to have a slaughter pin because slaughter pins provide the micro piglets. These guys right here. Oops. These guys right here. for the tavern to be stocked. Sorry, I kind of stopped talking there. So what I like to do is I like to build the slaughter pen off to the side a bit. And then put the tavern here as the main thing with the dungeon core, and also close to the lair. You need a larger vault. I come over here to the cell. Uh, cell. And then I come over here to the tavern. You'll still need a slaughter pen in order to keep your tavern stocked. But in a pinch, you can always drop some alternative meat into the grinder. Yes, you can. will only attract a certain number of minions before becoming full. In order to attract more, you will need to expand them. Indeed. It's payday. Nothing in this life is free, Underlord. And you'll regularly need to pay your minions for their hard work. 
Be sure to keep an eye on your reserves. For if you've not enough gold for their wages, they'll be swift to find gainful employment elsewhere. Fortunately, your minions will return some of their earnings by buying meals within your own tavern. What a delicious arrangement. Very delicious. to expand the size of this archive. And now even though the initial archive Something requires three by three. Scouts, go find what the hell's making all that racket. Rally your minions to defeat these scouts once they breach your dungeon. Um, Let's keep Sarusimov in the dark a little while longer. You should try using the lightning and heal spells to assist your minions in combat. represented by petals surrounding their unit shield. Once no petals remain, a creature will fall unconscious and soon die, unless returned to its lair to recover. So this flag is an impasse flag. It tells my imps not to go any further than this. This is no game, Underlord. Rally your minions to defend your dungeon core. They should be back by now. Ugh. Bar the doors. We wait for reinforcements. Look how easily your minions cut down these sappers. If I didn't know better, I'd say the Empire is woefully unprepared. Once minions are rested, you can leave them to their work, or force them to train by dropping them in a barracks. Well, hopefully we should get some more guys this way. In the meantime, I need some more gold. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these for excavation. So this should get me some more gold. What's my payday currently look like? Payday's gonna cost 1140 gold. Or 1140 gold. If you don't want to do something, you could at least vocalize it, Underlord. I'm sorry, I'm not doing anything right now. Um. Training master person. So here looks like it's an area to explore. I'm going to go ahead and mine that out and let my minions explore that. Now it looks like it's just this bedrock thing. Oh well. So I got a lot of gold over here. And then this still has not been mined. So I've got six cultists and five gnarlings. Okay, I can unlock prophecy. Unlocked. Unfortunately, it does not look like anything else is available to me in this game.
So that's just extra places to store some money. And I'm going to build a bigger lair to house more units. Where are my workers? You start working on that. Oh, my objectives tell me to pick up a cultist. And drop him onto a training dummy. That's enough training for now. When you're ready, rally your minions to the inhibitor and defeat Sarusimov. When I'm ready. Okay. I'm just curious what's over here, if anything, actually. Um, we got some stuff over there, maybe. You've discovered an artifact. Ooh. I did not know that was here in this map. Let's go and get the artifacts, because artifacts are pretty cool. It'll take me just a moment, though. Luckily, this particular map doesn't try to rush you for uh, or anything like that. So you can take your time. I appreciate a power nap as much as the next dark god. But could you finish the job? So the artifacts are taken over here for the cultists to research. It allows minions to research sins and unlock the mysteries of found artifacts. Well, that sharpened me up a bit. So there's the you artifact. Need a larger vault. Ah, okay. So there's a cultist right now, and he's currently researching. You've identified an artifact of gold. Who? Generates a large sum of gold within your coffers. Well, I don't need that, actually. Let's go ahead and start attacking. And remove this impasse flag so I can start claiming ground. I had a daydream. the damn walls. Steal yourself, lads. It's time to pay your minions, Underlord. Maybe time to pay them, but it's also time to fight now.
you doing going over there? Okay, now, let's come on over and attack this dude. Kill my own dudes this way, which is really cool. Well done, Underlord. You're learning much faster this time. We've barely even started. And you already have a notch on your belt. Well done, Underlord. But there's no rest for the wicked. Two inhibitors still stand between us and the mainland. But after your butchery of poor Lord Rusimov, I doubt they'll be as weakly defended. And we shall see that next episode. Ooh! There were two of them. One blew me right into the other one. I, I was hoping to find the magician whom I saw in the magic orb. And since the orb comes from Dead City here, I thought that...